guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is daniel rosal here uh, for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can um, find geo coordinates from a particular point on google maps and i'm also going to show you the flip side of that process how if you have the geo coordinates for a particular place on planet earth whether that's in your city your country or just somewhere totally random you can actually find uh, where that is on Google Maps and if there is Google Street View available you can actually use that to kind of uh, see what that point looks like at the last time that Google sent its uh, imaging uh, van around to check out the neighborhood. So I mentioned on a few videos a project I've uh, kind of set for myself for this winter going to be one of my first uh, more serious video projects is producing a little documentary regarding this border that used to run in Jerusalem for between 1948 and 1967. It was called the Cav Ironi, which means the municipal line. It was never intended as a permanent border before someone points it out in the comments, but it did end up serving as a uh, de facto international border for 19 years between Israel and uh, Jordan. Now, what I want to do for this video, I'm going to go to different points in the city today where the border once stood. And I'm going to just, you know, take some videos there. And I'm also hoping to speak to some uh, older people in Jerusalem who were alive when that was a, you know, hardcore border and there was uh, landmines and fortifications and soldiers and all the other stuff that goes along with an international border. Now, um, rather than just kind of go randomly wandering around Jerusalem with Google Maps open on my phone, I thought it'd be a bit more strategic about it. And I prepared this custom Google Map um, in which I basically looked at where the green line goes and I've just mapped off um, a bunch of different places, probably way more than I need, where um, the green line intersects with a street or a public park or, you know, somewhere that isn't just kind of someone's private property that might be suitable for uh, photography. So um, let me show you how you can go from this to that. This being uh, custom points you found on a Google map like this place on Naomi Street. And one of the deficits of Google, I mean, Google Maps, I think is amazing at tool. Likewise, Google My Maps is very useful, but none of them are like the full package. So to the best of my knowledge, I don't know of a way to get Google Street View in Google My Maps. So that's where this comes in really, really handy. So if we just take this point that I found where the green line intersected the street called Naomi Street, and I wanna see in Google Maps, hey, so what's actually, let me take a closer look at what's here. So what I can do is click on the point I've uh, placed on my Google map. And now you can see I have the geo coordinates. So these are gonna kind of uh, push my eyesight to its limits. 31.76296, sorry, 22869, right? So what I'm gonna do now is copy this geo coordinate onto my notepad, which I'll just bring in presently. And now that I have them on my notepad, I can just pop those into Google uh, Maps. And there's a couple more things that uh, I can do, and I'm going to try to show these in this video. Now, it's important to note that there are a couple of ways of denoting uh, what are what are abbreviated for short as geo-coords and full geographical uh, coordinates. One is um, using... Uh, minutes uh, and hours, minutes and seconds, I think, sorry, degrees, minutes and seconds of longitude and latitude. And the other way is uh, using decimal uh, degrees. So the way Google Map does it is decimal degrees or DD, in other words, 33 point something, something, something. But you can convert back and forth using one of these tools. So for instance, I'm just going to take these. Now, the good thing about the DD system for geo coordinates is that um, because it's two integers, one for latitude, one for longitude, you don't need to know whether it's north, south, east, or west. If it's north, the latitude is positive. If it's south of the equator, it's going to be negative latitude. If it's to the east of Greenwich, it's going to be um, a positive figure for longitude. And if it's to the west of Greenwich, it's going to be <coughs> excuse me, a negative value for longitude. So traditionally, the DMS system degrees, minutes, and seconds relies upon uh, prefixing prefixing latitude. You have to pre prefix latitude and longitude with north, south, east, west. So I think this is it's a little bit more of an elegant system. But whatever way you have geo coordinates accessible to you, uh, you're able to convert using a very simple tool like this. So you don't need to bother with uh, mathematics. So you can see I plugged in uh, the point of uh, this location on Naomi Street. 
the 31.76 and I've it's converted into a DMS uh, notation 31 uh, degrees of latitude to the north of the equator 45 minutes of latitude and 46 decimal 656 uh, seconds of uh, latitude and then the longitude is 35 degrees east 13 minutes east and 43.284 you can see those numbers don't even look alike in fact I'm just gonna have to put myself down here so you guys can see the output uh, so it's uh, you can you can convert it yourself using a formula, but it's just a lot easier to do it using a tool like this. And if you're if you think well, those two numbers don't look the same, you can see it's in the right city anyway, and it is actually the same uh, same uh, same point. So what we're going to do now is go into Google Maps. Now the way you can do this, I've kind of already given it away here because it's in my search history, but nevertheless, I can just type copying this off the clipboard and I'm just putting the DD notation for latitude and longitude into the search bar just as if it was searching for a particular place and I can either hit the enter key or click on that and it's going to jump me straight to that point now something cool is that it's done it firstly it does this uh, conversion Google Maps has done the conversion into DMS format as you can see and the second nice thing is that it is it has equated it to a, a location according to the street. So you can see it's putting that as 21, 23 to 21 Naomi Street, Jerusalem. Now, something you can do is once you've got that in Google, I'm just going to hit the search key again. And it's going to put down a little red marker. So that's exactly, and you can see I got, I was, I'm on the, within probably 50 centimeters, I'm actually on the green line at this point. So that's how you can take a particular place on Earth and put it into uh, Google Maps. And I'm not sure if you feed Google Maps a DMS format geo coordinate, if it's going to be able to uh, parse it. And it is actually. So you can also put a degrees, minutes, and seconds geo coordinate in this notation into uh, the search bar in Google Maps, and it's going to bring that uh, out to you. Now you can choose to share this position, and it's going to give you. A direct link to that geo uh, coordinate so if you send this link to someone or if you send this link to your phone and go on Google Maps you'll be able to navigate directly to that geo coordinate right there's also a send to phone button for making that process a little bit more streamlined now you can you can also label this point if you want to keep your own for example I might create a Google Maps list called green line points and I can add this to that uh, to that group by clicking on add a label and if you know there's something specific at that point that isn't on Google Maps, you can then click on add a missing place and it will um, prompt you to add a missing place to Google. It won't be automatically included. There is kind of a revision process. So that's how to go from geo coordinate to a place on Google Maps. Now, how do you go from a place on Google Maps to geo coordinate? So let's take the Green Line project again as a kind of handy example. And this is a green line boundary, right? So I can say, mm, this might be an interesting place to record my video. So let's um, let's get the geo cord for this position. Now you can see it's really simple. I just right clicked at that point on the map and it's given me 31.76384. So what you can do is click on that geo coordinate and it's already copied it to, uh, to the clipboard. Then you can run it through the converter again, or you can simply copy it to the clipboard, put it into the search, and then it's going to put down its red marker again and you can see here it's already google maps has already converted that from dd system of geographical notation geo coordinate notation to the dms system of a geographical notation and it'll give us a address as well in this case it didn't have a specific house address so between those two uh, tools there's really really an awful lot of functionality that you can take advantage of if you are trying to find places on Google Maps to go hiking or something, and you wanna put those into your Garmin or something. Once you are able to extract your coordinates and input your coordinates, there's a whole lot more uh, value that you can make out of this mapping tool. Hope that video was useful. Thank you guys for watching. And if you do wanna get more videos from me on technology and other subjects, including this forthcoming documentary on the uh, former border in Jerusalem, then do uh, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.